Yo, what's up guys? My name is Desi and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be making a let's play um, on the Dovetail Euro Fishing game. Now, this game is awesome. If you like fishing, but maybe you don't have any where to go fishing or you don't have any equipment to go fishing you know like you don't have money to go fishing or something then this game is probably the closest to actually being out there on a lake and me personally I am I like going fishing in real life and this for me is actually pretty close to actually being out there on on the lake so uh let's get baited up i'm going to be using a a boilie now um this isn't actually a live stream i should have probably live streamed it um but maybe that's for a further future video this, this is just going to be one of many let, let's plays so uh yeah let's just get baited up and uh get out there so, as I'm saying about the game, it's really realistic um, in terms of when you have to get the fish in, you can just reel it, but you also have to just play the fish, so that's good, um, makes it a bit more interesting rather than just, you know, reeling in and then casting out again you actually have to play the fish so hopefully you you guys will enjoy the video um so we're now rod two's going off so let's get that in you'll see what i mean by you have to play the fish it's really good um i really do love this game and it's really realistic as well, you, you know, you're not just casting out and then five minutes later you actually just got one on. I, this, I know I've just got one, but that was just luck, I, I should imagine. Because sometimes you're actually waiting 20 to half an hour um, to actually just get one, one fish in. So it's quite realistic in a way. You can be waiting for a while, but um, that's what makes the game fun and interesting. So, I have bought some new rods, a line and reel on here and other different baits. You know, I'm not a beginner on this game. I saw, I'm not going to say I'm an expert because I'm not. I'm just, just been playing it for a while. So I have a little bit of experience in what I'm doing. Um, as you can see it's quite realistic when you're reeling in because the rod actually bends quite quite a lot um, you'll see what I mean but you have to play the fish in order to get it in so as you can see on the left hand side of the screen you have your rod like line temp uh, like tension uh, gauge which is the little 20 in a little circle there You've got the uh, distance of how far the rod's out. You've got the uh, depth of the water. So you can see how far the lake is. So as you can see, I've caught a nice common carp. Um, 18 pound, 6 ounces. Quite a nice fish to uh, start off the day. So, um, the bit... The where rod three is is gravel out there, so what I was trying to aim for was to get my rig in the gravel, but um, I failed to do so. But I just left it. So I think I gave it a few more attempts, and then um, I just left it with a, a gravel hook on, even though it was sort of like not on gravel; it was in silk. So. I don't really think it made a huge difference, but maybe 
maybe it'll help. So, when you're waiting for another bite, I think I might in the future videos edit like the waiting part of it. So, maybe put a little bit of music to it and just try. So, um, no, put a little bit of music to this one actually. So as you can see Rod 2 is now going off, this is in first person, so you don't, you don't just have third person on it, you have first as well, which I like, but personally I like going into third person, I, can, I just feel like I can play better in third. This lake is probably one of my favourite lakes. Um, Mainly because this is the lake where I've mainly caught big fish, big carp and that. I've only ever caught one catfish. Um, if you guys know a good way to catch a catfish, leave a comment below. I'll be interested in to see. Because I'm, I'm baiting out there, but it's just not like... You know, I'm having trouble... We're trying to find the catfish. Maybe it's, I'm not using the right bait, or I'm not using the right line, or something. I don't know. But um, guys, leave a comment below. If you uh, fancy helping me on the road to uh, catching a catfish, so we're now on to the second catch of the video. Nice little uh, mirror carp. So rod three is going off as well. Sometimes on this game, you will find that when you play, all three of the rods will go off at all at the same time. So, you just all have to be patient and get one in, one after another. But that's okay. So as you can see, you've got like the depth of the water on the left hand side of the screen. Um, and now my first rod is going off as well. So, uh, yeah. I think I do end up actually getting all of these rods in with the fish on as well. I think on this one I, I do actually try speeding it up so I don't actually, I just keep reeling. So as you can see on the screen, where all these little bubbles are coming up on the surface and in the, in, the, in the distance there where the fish are splashing up out of the water, is a good indication where you should probably cast out because where all these bubbles are and the splashes are is where fish are. You know, the bubbles are the fish feeding um, below. So if you cast out there, you'll probably have more of a chance of catching. Um, yeah, sometimes it can vary on how long you're making, um, playing the fish, sorry, not making. So, here we are with sort of another, a nice, another, uh, mirror carp. Quite a, quite a dark coloured carp, this one. So let's put that back in the water and get number uh, one. Put up the tension a bit because uh, I've quite a lot, a lot, quite a lot of line to get back in because of the way the fish was and where I did originally bait up the area. Um, so I cast out. Um, well, actually, whilst I'm on the topic of baiting up the area, it's really good actually because. You have three rods out of the water, in the water, sorry, and you also have a baiting rod. So when all three of these rods are in the water, you can use this fourth rod, a baiting rod, to cast out to where each of your rods are set and bait up the area. You, prob you probably want to do this three times, three to four times. If you do anything more than that, I think you're just spooking off the fish. 
Um, so you don't really want to be doing over three or four times. And it and it really does help if you want to speed up the process of catching fish. You know, you want to get the fish into areas where you're baiting up, so you can just literally cast in and out, in and out, and you'll you'll be well away. So here we go, guys. My I think this is the last fish, if I can remember rightly. So this is. Um, my first ever let's play I hope you guys enjoyed if you do please be sure to give it a thumbs up please subscribe share with your friends it means a lot so um, guys comment below what you thought of this first ever let's play and if you want to see more then uh, I'll make more I probably will make more but yeah cheers for watching guys and peace